Okay, now in this section we will see uh, verifying the total stub also. Like if we just get back to previous session, we have practically verified the uh, stub configurations where we went to each and every router, router 1, router 2, router 3, we have configured as a stub. So now what we are going to do is we are going to configure area 10 this time. It will be configured as totally stub. So instead of using stubs, we are going to make it as totally stub. Now normally how it will be? If you go back with a default routing table, you will have E1, E2 routes, OIA routes, O routes. This is what a normal OSP of behavior. Once I make them as totally stub, it's going to replace all your OIA as well as E1, E2 will be replaced with a single default route and the O routes remains the same, right? So that is something what we need to verify. Now to configure total stub, what is the configuration we need to do? So again, I want to make area 10 as a total stub. So in that case, we need to go to all internal routers. Now in the area 10, we got three routers router 1, router 2 or my internal routers and the router 3 is my border router, area border router. So we got a slight change in the configurations when compared with the stubs. Now on all the internal routers, in my example it is router 1, router 2. Probably in your scenario, in your production networks, it can be any number of routers. So on all the internal routers, what we need to do, we need to configure just one command. And what's that command? Router OSP of 1. We need to say area 10 star. Now it seems to be the same command what we have configured in our normal stops. Yes, it is the same command which we use. But the difference between the stop and the total stop is only on the area border router, the command is changed. Now only on the area border router, we need to go and say only on area border router that is router 3 in my case I am going to say router OSP of 1 I need to say area 10 stub now this command is same up to here we need to say no summary we just need to add one extra command called no summary on the border router which means the meaning of no summary is no LSA 3 also you know summary LSA the LSA 3 is referred as summary LSA we are saying that it's a stub which ensures that there is no E1, E2 routes and also no summary means don't send any LSA3 also, nothing but your OIA routes. That's what we have learned, LSA3 represents OIA routes. So this is one extra configuration we need to do on the border router. But whereas if we are using normal stubs, we don't add no summary, that's the only difference. So only we need to modify the configurations on the border router. And if you just go and check practically, let's go and configure them on our routers. If I go to my router 1, I'm going to continue this lab from my previous uh, previous stub lab. If you just get back in my previous lab, I configured on the router 1 area 10 stub. Now on the router 1 area 10 stub, we can continue with the same command. Or if you want to remove and reconfigure, that's a more better practice. On the router 2, if you just check on the router 2 also, in the previous lab, we have configured total normal stub, area 10 stub. On the router 2, it's an internal router. It's going to be the same command on the router 2 also. Internal routers, same command we need to use in a normal stub, in a total stub. But only the change comes on the border router. Now router 3 is my border router. On the border router, we need to say instead of using area 10 stub we need to change that command to area 10 stub no summary now don't expect the ospf to override that command simply remove that one and then just say area 10 stub no summary you can see no summary that's it simple configuration so on the router 1 router 2 we configured area 10 stub on the router 3 we configured area 10 stub no summary now verification wise, I should see this O, OIA routes on the router 1. Let's go and check on the router 1. I'm going to say show IP route OSPF. If you, if you try to verify the routing table, 
I was able to see all overouts here you can see all overouts as it is no change and there is no E1 E2 there is no E1 E2 there is no OIA instead of these routes it's replaced with a single default route OIA so all your E1 E2 routes E1 will come from here OIA will come from here and the border router says that I'm going to maintain a more specific routes and when I'm advertising to internal routers I'm going to advertise only the default route that's what happens if you try to verify the communication here from the router one you might think okay will the communication will happen yes still the router one will be able to access the external routes still the router one will be able to access the OIA routes from a different area in fact 40 OIA route 40 belongs to OIA but only the difference is they don't have the routes they just have the default route if you go to router 2 also router 2 also must see only the default route because it is an internal router there is no e1 e2 there is no oia instead we just have a single default route and on the router 3 which is my border router can you see the default route here i cannot see the default route here now here i don't see the, the default routes instead of e1 e2 because the border router is going to maintain the more individual specific routes but when it arises to stub area that is inside the area 10 it will only replace with a single default route now this way we can verify the stops now the configuration is very simple in case of normal stops we need to configure this command on each and every router on all the routers including border router but in case of totally stop we need to configure this command on the internal routers whereas on the border router we need to add no summary that is one thing we need to add a little bit extra configuration and practical verification if you are if you are configuring total stop it's going to replace oia e1 e2 lsa3 lsa5 into a single default route and if you are using normal stops it's going to replace only lsa5s into a single default route so both are used now the only difference is stop and totally stop both are used to minimize the size of the routing tables inside any specific area and also it helps in minimizing the number of link state advertisements.